when I was in primary school, my father passed away, and it's only for my mother to take care of us. And we were only, we were only five children of my parents, and none of them too have completed school that he can take care of us. So my mother suffered a lot to take care of us. So my uncle decided to pick me, and I was staying with my uncle, so he's the one who has taken care of me till now. My name is Eja Amu. I'm a fisherman, but I'm old now, and this time I'm home, not doing anything. Frederick Amu is my son. At first, his studies was very bad. He repeated severally in school and decided to stop schooling. He came back home one day and told us that some people came to visit them and they talked about scholarship. They said if they are able to study well and then they excel in their examination, they will grant them the scholarship to further their studies. Taro Oil took us in a lot of practicals and, te and teach us how to answer questions. It helped me a lot. Now I'm standing here, I'm in SHS at ACMA CETEC offering science because I want to become an engineer in future. I am a former student of Aguna Model School and I am now in West Girls High School. The STEM project was introduced to us when we were in JHS Dewey and it has been of immense help to us, the students in Laguna Model School, especially me. By God's grace, when I was coming here, we were taught a lot and when I wrote the BEC, I got a UGSIS and I am now in Western Girls High School. I'm lucky I'm one of the students who got the Talo scholarship and my mom who is a fishmonger, she is very happy that she's not going to pay the provisions and school fees and those things. My whole impression about the Educate to Innovate to STEM program is that before the program teachers were doing selective teaching. They were just interested in those topics that they were very conversant with. I can't remember one master telling me that in fact after that program, he could enter the class with greater energy because the program touched on our pedagogy, our content knowledge and technological aspect. Well, in terms of performance in the area of their BEC and the scholarship the children have had, it's so marvelous. The BEC results we had that's last year, 2019, you could see that the results were so fantastic and even the whole of Jomoro, parents who heard of it are so, so surprised that so our children could do this. I am why I am here because I am here because I am here because I am I I personally am grateful to Youth Bridge Foundation and Talu Ghana Limited for the massive support uh, towards our children here. Uh, my expectation is that they will do more for us. I would like to thank Talo Oil Ghana Limited and Woodbridge Foundation and all the teachers in Abuna Model School for their teaching and support to us, the students. <laughs>